one of the reasons that the colonists declared their independence from and seceded from the British Empire was because it was at a constant state of war, just like all the nations of Europe at that time. And I guess the questions we need to ask are, has America become an empire that is constantly at war? Certainly that is the case since World War II. And now we see on InfoWars a very detailed article attacking the idea that this broken windows is a way to increase the economy, to make people wealthy. Another idiot economist says that we need a major war to save the economy. And this is uh, from George Washington's blog. I'm not going to go over the details of this article because just to print it out, it's about 15 pages long. But it's a very detailed refutation of what economists call the broken window fallacy. The idea that something like a hurricane is good for the economy or a war is good for the economy. I just recently saw Jersey Boys, and it was interesting at the very beginning, this kid who talked about his childhood and how he was corrupted and got into the mob and got into crime, his job was to go around and break windows so they could sell new windows. It didn't benefit anybody but the guy who was breaking the windows and selling the new windows. It didn't help the restaurants or the other businesses. It didn't help a restaurant to get more salaries or wages for themselves or their employees. It didn't help them to provide better services, better quality food at a lower price so they can compete better, so they could offer better services to people. No, it simply helped the person who was breaking the window. And just like organized crime, that's the way the military industrial complex works. The argument that war benefits the economy is the same argument. It only benefits those who are creating the war. But unlike this guy who was breaking windows, they're killing people in massive amounts, and that makes it even worse. And we also learned today that the Pentagon reveals that it's had a secret military presence in Somalia since 2007. They're just now admitting that they've been there constantly. Someone has leaked that they have 120 people that have been staying on the ground throughout in Somalia. Yet another example of how we have a foot in every war and how the military industrial complex runs this country. But how do they treat the soldiers who fight for this government that is constantly at war with everyone? Look at this article about the VA. VA workers rip crucifix off a dying vet's neck, deal crack, rape, and many more. Now this is an audit report and it was pulled out. There were highlighted uh, sections of that from U.S. Senator Tom Coburn, Republican of Oklahoma. More than 1,000 veterans may have died at the hands of the Department of Veterans Affair, even as the agency was beset with shocking instances of employee misconduct. They talk about all these things that I mentioned in the headlines, plus they had this revelation. They said a nurse working at the VA hospital in Kentucky pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter after being charged with killing a World War II vet. A 90-year-old veteran died from a lethal, lethal dose of morphine, and according to the report, at least two other veterans cared for by the same nurse died under the same suspicious circumstances. What was the punishment for this nurse? She was sentenced to time served of eight days. Eight days. She's engaged in, it looks like she's engaged in euthanasia, in mercy killings of 90-year-olds. It's horrific the way we treat the veterans in this country. We need to treat them at least as well as we do the illegal aliens that are flooding into our country as the government opens the borders and takes down our homeland in the name of homeland security. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.